So now I'll be doing the 2004 exam question for Dijkstra algorithm. And the question asks us to find the shortest path from Q to W here to here, and then to write down the sequence of the shortest path. So we start here by boxing Q, and we know that we can either go to A or C. So from Q to A, takes 26 steps from Q to C takes seven steps. So since Q to C is shortest, I will box this up. And from C, I can either go here, C to B or C to D. And my working will be from C to D takes nine steps. From C to B takes six steps. And I have to choose the shortest paths from option one, two, or three. So 26, six, or nine, six is clearly the shortest. So I'm gonna box this up. So now that I've boxed B up, I can either travel to A or to E. So if I were to travel to A, from B, it would take me nine steps. Traveling from B to E takes eight steps. So what are my options? Oh, also 26 is much larger than nine, so it's not optimal, so I strike that off. What are my options? I have one, two, three, and four here. Don't forget that. I will choose eight and E. From E, I can travel to H, G, F, D. So E to H, 46. Very unlikely that I will use this. From E to G, 16 steps. From E to F, seven steps. And from E to D, 15 steps. And since 15 is much larger than nine, so it's not optimal, struck that off. So what do I choose from? I have one, two, three, four, five, so F is the most optimal. Going from E to F is the most optimal. From F, I can travel to D, to G, or to M. So let's do F to D. Takes me 13 steps. No. Still larger than nine, so it's not useful. F to G takes me four steps. Strike off 16. F to M takes me 10 steps. Okay, so what are my options? One, two, three. Four and five, yeah. So you would choose to go from F to G because it takes only four steps, which is the shortest of the five options. From G, we can go to M or we can go to L. Yeah, that's it. G to M gives me takes 13 steps, not optimal. G to L takes seven steps. I can choose from one, two, three, four, five. 
So I'll choose G to L because seven is the smallest number of the five options. Choose this. And from L, I can go to K or I can go to W. L to K takes 13 steps and L to W takes seven steps. I choose from one, two, three, four, five, and technically we have six here. So which one gives me the most optimal or shortest path? That would be W with seven. And that's it. So we've reached the end of the journey from Q to W. All we have to do now is to plot the path backwards. So using this highlighter, I start at W. It tells me to go back to L. So I'm going to trace back to L. And once I reach L, it tells me to go to G. So go to G. G tells me to go to F. F. Go to E. Go to B. And at B tells me to go to C. At C to Q. And that's it. So to calculate the length of the shortest path, length of shortest path equals to seven, six plus plus four, plus seven, plus seven. That gives us 46. And for part B, to write down the shortest path, you can simply list it as Q, C, B, E, F, G, L, and W. That's it. Done.